That's, that's cheaper. I mean, money doesn't matter, but I don't want to waste things I don't have to. Okay. Get back one of my nectars. One of those. Three of these. One of these. Alright, let's sell the junk I picked up. Hopefully it can help me. Shard. Okay, new mace. New sword. Okay. New armor. And the bloom. Don't care about that. Open cap. My wart. I'm still holding on to for now because that's one of my few TP restorative stuff. Okay, so what do we got? Let's take a look at this thing first. Less HP, a lot more TP. 10 more TP, okay. 10 TP, more attack, which doesn't affect her much. HP technically works better for her based on how I'm using her. So, I'll hold off on that, because the 10 HP would uh, work much better for revenge. Okay, how about the Nodachi? Better. Uh, what's the tai Chi Tachi's attack? I, w I was just double checking. Okay, it was just pure attack. I just wanted to make sure of that at least. Dude. Okay, no dodgy. Armor, flame leaf, ice resist. Uh, 30 defense. Uh, that's for. Okay. Ooh, TP on it. That's always nice. It's for these guys, so that's even better. Sure, ice resist. I'm not sure if I need that, but okay, cool. Uh, that's not for them. I need ruby scales and pure quills for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Things to keep in mind for later. Rest up. Oh yeah, I wonder if I got any new quests here since I made it to another floor. Yep. Uh, the Duke's daughter's jewelry for birthdays. Can you find some precious stones? Influx of wounded labyrinth explorers deplete our supplies. We need ingredients for the medicine. Noble of is looking for the last of the Master Craftsman's chest pieces. Eh, I'll do those later. Here we go. Ah, welcome. Oh, I see you met with Guild Esbat. Then you must know of the beast at the end of the 10th floor. Its strength is quite fearsome, but it has an even more horrific quality. You see, Esbat and the other powerful guilds joined forces destroyed at my request. As one would expect, their combined strength was enough to destroy the monster. But only days later, the monster reappeared as if nothing had ever happened. Now, do you understand why I hired Esbat to block the path? While that beast still lives, I can't let any explorers throw their lives away by accident. Only those who have heard the tale I tell you are allowed to proceed to its lair. Well, is your guild willing to challenge the immortal beast? Terrible demon said to dwell on the labyrinth's tenth floor. Those who would press onward must rid the force of this horror. I see. I expected as much. Then I won't spare the details. It stands at the end of the 10th floor, directly in front of the stairs upward. Its unholy power of healing and controlling fire has led it to the name of Hellion. Countless explorers have met their destined in combat against the Fiend. If you intend to defeat the Hellion, you must pre uh, face him fully prepared. Okay, so it's a fire thingy. See, my armor doesn't have fire resistance, but whatever. Just at least save so I can don't have to potentially die and have to sit through that dialogue again and stuff. That's all. 
All right, let's get back there. Uh, back to the eighth floor. That works. Marie! Revenge. I forget, did I get Ricochet to level 5? Well, I'll find out sooner or later. I don't remember if I ever got it to level 5 or not. I feel like I might have. Oh yeah, these things had a conditional drop too. I actually did not check that. Usually I'm pretty good at trying to check what things have conditional drops and how to get them. I mean, I know what the boss's conditional drop is for this floor, which is hilarious. And that will and it will be hilarious when it happens cuz cuz it basically makes means that I'm not remotely worried about this boss whatsoever. All good levels up. Okay, moment of truth. Did she get that maxed out? Um, no, Ricochet is now level 5. Okay, now it's level 5. Okay. Now we can start putting points into um, her stats, I guess. Well, okay, maybe... Did I give... Okay, I haven't given her escape up. That'll be next. So I can run away from f nasty fights if things are really bad. Now I can start putting points into stuff. Which I totally forgot. I wrote it down somewhere. It's in one of the text documents for keeping track of that type of stuff. Though, I haven't really been paying much attention to them now since I have a general idea where I'm building my characters now anyways. Oh no! <laughs> that that sucked. They really, really don't like her. I mean, I can't blame her. She's kind of an annoying bitch, but whatever. I'm of course talking about story, Juliana. Even if I haven't gotten to that point in the story when I'm where I'm writing, the story I mentioned earlier that I'm writing is the story that I've been meaning to write for like several years now. It's where basically the characters I use in my Let's Plays come from. Basically, pretty much everybody in this are are from that at least. Um, uh, Jubei. So actually, now that I think about it, Jubei's not in this one. Juliana and Pharaohs are from it. Olga and Maria are just from this, and the other party, aside from Jaku, are from it. I'm still only in the early chapters for finally writing the damn thing. Oh, great! So all that's so the only characters who have properly been introduced is just Adric, Rihanna, and Reka. Yeah, I don't like this room whatsoever. Oh. If I'm to guess, it'll probably be something like that. No, don't! There. Just a guess.
Uh, I don't like these guys at all. This I hate. I hate these statues so much. I mean, they're immune to poison, so that automatically makes it me absolutely detest them. Just, just by that. Okay, cool. Uh, you do that. You finish that thing off. You help out just in case she misses, as she's prone to do. You I shot that one, and we should be good to go. Ice fight. Oh, that that is new. Okay, good. Oh, I called it right. Nice. As you look around the past dead end, you see a large hole in the tree before you. You can hear rustling and chirping from within. It seems the tree is home to an animal nest with young chicks inside. You search your belongings for a tri-fruit you can feed to the baby birds. Fortunately, you don't have a tri-fruit. You hesitate to leave without feeding them, but you eventually tear yourself away. Oh, that might have been a one-time thing. Oh well. I'll mark it as such. How annoying. I can already see some of this path. Like that. Oh, no. That. Not that one. Unlike a lot of the later games, this game, these things do percentile damage. They do percentile damage in the first game, too. In every other game, they do like 10, 10 or 20 damage, depending on where, which point in the game they're at. Point is, they still suck. Oops, I'm not even on the right thing. Haha. -ha. <laughs> ah, God. Okay, so I'm not near the FOE. This again? I don't like this party. I don't like fighting those statues at all. <laughs> They're jerks! Okay, Medicas. Olga and Marie are fine. Marie especially. Having her at low health is actually surprisingly helpful to form my party. Okay. Okay, the FOE is not next to where I am at, so yeah. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's some in the middle, too. Or something. I don't know the patterns for these things, so... Hmm. Okay, the... That one's moving towards me. That one's moving away. Oh... I legit have no idea what their patterns are. Wait, they might be going back and forth to certain spots or something. Somehow I had a feeling. Like, that one looks like it ends on a dead end, like that. Hmm. Did I really pick the right door on accident? Well, whatever. <laughs> so the other one might lead to just treasure or something? Ah, oh, yay, more FOEs.
it's close. Like, right there, close. Okay, it goes back and forth, gotcha. Hmm. Looks like it curves down at that spot. Oh, great. For some reason, I thought that I saw something pop up. Oh. It's going back towards that door, isn't it? Or not. It goes to a treasure chest. Hello, post... Oh, right, I remember seeing one of those things. You're yeah, right, uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's, uh, just, po you know, poison them. Ah, I charged this. All right. Oh. Oh, that thing has a lot of health, doesn't it? Oh, no. Oh. That went poorly. Hmm. Well, at least I got treasure. Yeah. Cool, and Amrita. I mean, that's cool and all. So I basically have to go back to that room up there again. Hmm. I haven't exactly figured out their patterns. They they definitely have a pattern. I can tell that much. So I'm going to leave. Curse you. Because I only have three Amrita. <laughs> well, okay, that could have recovered me completely now that I think about it, but... Eh. It's kind of a thing that just kind of just... Maybe not want to do that again. <laughs> okay. Uh, buy at least two. I used three of them before, so okay. Have a five of them. Another warp wire. Okay, let's sell the junk. Seal horn. Nice fiber for snow axe. Oh, well, I'm never gonna use that. Okay. Revive. I'm so glad it automatically targets the person who needs reviving instead of me accidentally selecting Adric every single time it says, Oh, he looks perfectly fine. Sleep again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what day is it? Dormouse 28. Okay, so it's been five days since I've last killed the Chimera. Just keeping track of that so I can get money again. After all, why not? Oh, no, it's a case of that. Damn it. Ah, uh, key items still take up inventory spots. Permanent inventory spots. Okay, maybe it, it maybe it's the third game that they fixed that. Which means every key item that stays in my inventory stays there permanently. As long as there's no bugged quest like there were in the first game with the pearl. Where that, that just stays in your inventory forever too. Uh, anyways, Juliana leveled up. Nobody else leveled up. And I forgot, right? Okay, just Juliana. Okay. Uh, she got... Oh yeah, she's going for ecstasy, that's right. 
another damage skill for her. Which that does, uh, it, it is correct, it does incredible damage. It does insane amounts of damage. But of course they have to be fully bound, which, you know, you just use your boost skill and then you're good to go. After that, I'll either max out cuffs. Since there's only a point to maxing out one of these, and it's mostly just as a damage skill. Not so much for the bind. The bind's just a nice bonus. And then I need... Uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to go for. So I would have to start putting points in the sword, so... I might do that later, because I'm not use, using Swords of Fur. So I might... Uh, yeah, I might put start putting points in the cups and stuff before going for this. Because basically, um, what that would do is, based on her party position, which, you know, front row in between two people, anytime they get attacked by any physical attacks, uh, she'll instantly counterattack for heavy damage. So, yeah, like that. She also has one for magic, too, but I think physical attacks are a lot more common in this game. Uh, that was a skill that the Dark Hunter had in the first game, too. I just never used a Dark Hunter, and that's like one of their good damage skills that they had in that one. I think it's stronger in this game. Uh, so now I have to run back to that floor again. How annoying. Now I know to be to watch out for dinosaurs. Okay, my party's enough to yeah to kill those things pretty easily. Okay, they reduce my party's defense. Not that big of a deal. Ruby shards, Jubei levels up. Uh, there we go, maxed out. Alright, next thing to go for. Clarity! Which you need strength level 5 first, anyways. Oh well, strength level 5 is good enough. So yeah, this basically, yeah, like it says, his evasion goes up as he as his HP lowers. Um, Ronin are extremely fragile to begin with, so that is a good skill to go for, especially since... Uh, the evasion proc on Clarity is different from his normal evasion check. It's like roll. It's basically like rolling it twice. I think it maxes out at thirty percent or something like that. So it's pretty decent. Uh, there's another one that does that. If that's a, I, yeah, that's the other one. But that would require a lot of agility and luck. So that that's a massive investment. Or maybe this is the one that's the second um, proc. It's one of these two. Either ways, you go for both of them to make sure that he doesn't die very easily. <laughs> Probably needs to put points in the TP because he runs that TP stupidly fast. Not that it matters, his physical attacks hit hard. I only pretty much need him to use his skills when I'm fighting an FOE or a very, very irritating enemy and I got attacked right in front of the stairs again. Hello, turtle man. I'm going for- Jubei! I was hoping that he was done just slightly under- mm. I was hoping. Oh, whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you were- but, 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 Um, strength up. Yeah, you need it at six. I'll just get him to six. And then I will just start pumping points into Warlore. It's very unfortunate that it's such a skill point sink. To get all the way to his good skills. Granted, a lot of his skills are good. Oof. It's not a party I like. I don't like enemies that can hit me more than once a turn. I need to find 
just like with the other floors at some point when it's grind time I'm gonna need to actually find where the nice tiles are so I don't run into fights like that so I can potentially clear most fights with just an auto attack that deer is a lot worse than uh, the boar Okay. Make two on you two. Okay. 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 Let's get back to where we were again. Oh. You know, I was confused why the hell there's a door there. It was because I let go when I was doing stuff. Yeah. Okay, so let's have you do that, you attack that one, you attack that one, you, I shot that one, and yeah. Much better. Yes, yeah, when I let go. I'm not trying to do the door the first time. Okay. This room again. That's two spots ahead of me. They do circle around. Okay. Gotcha. All right, I got it. I, I got their patterns. They go up, then they basically, like, this one would go like that. And the other one, so one's right here. One is right here. Let's mark their starting spots, because this would go like that. And at the same time, this would go like that. It's the same as the, it's the, same as the other side. So that one will go that way. That one will go... Or not... Don't confuzzle me. Oh no! I know these things deal. I know their deal. They're not something I want to fight. Uh, they resist like everything. Uh, they also like cursing. Hmm. I actually might be able to take them out. Potentially. Defend, defend. They're immune to fire and fit. Uh, into fit. They're basically super resistant to fire and resistance. So I can use the that, and I can use revenge and potentially insta kill them. But otherwise, they like to curse my party members. So, except the rare times that they actually try to physically attack my party. So this could work. I might be able to kill one. Mostly due to revenge. Yep, pain. That's a fire attack. And it's dead. Wait. Uh, bound enemy. There we go. Climax. Damn it! A bendy tool? Really? I'm glad I at least knew how those things worked. If I didn't, I'd be dead. <laughs>
Alright. <laughs> Figures as much. This is the game just being rude to me. It's really going to make me go all the way around. I'm just trying to gun for that spot. I'll get there eventually. Oh no, it's that thing again. Shit. Um, that thing needs to die immediately. I know this now. Uh, ricochet, sure. It's immune to poison. Oops. Oh, whatever. I knew I already would have been fast enough to hit it. I, I was just uh, slightly worried about it. It still didn't drop anything. The game hates me when it comes to drops. Oh, I'm at F, right. Um. <laughs> I'm getting there. I think about it, is the boss right next to that thing? I mean, that'd be nice and convenient. Oh, Addle Owl. I haven't seen you. I very much do not like you, Mr. Addle Owl. So I'm going to try to kill you as fast as possible. Let's poison everybody, just in case. Okay, the owl's dead. Okay, cool. Those things have been poisoned, so we're good to go.
Ah, please. Yay. Well, that, that works out in my favor. Ha ha. I guess he doesn't have enough TP for revenge anyways. <laughs> Looks like it goes much further. We've already hit the warp point, so... It looks like the boss actually might be in the middle. My characters are at near, are very, very low on TP right now, so let's just run away. I'll be back here in like a couple seconds anyways, haha! -ha. Uh, let's see, let's see. Start here. Oops. It's by uh what was it? Oh yeah. Three of these. A warp wire. Let's sell the stuff I found. Boot bone. Shotgun! Oh, I already have that. Never mind. <laughs> Jelly Helm. Greaves. Garrod, which I already have. Well, the character I care about that has it already has it, so. Okay, so yeah, that was all for weapons. Oh, and the shotgun, right. Need more hard root. What does that do? More HP, you say? Hmm. Less attack, but more HP. I'm, I'm all about that more HP part. Okay, armor, armor, armor. Um, defense 14, agility 2. Defense 14. Oh, yeah, who can equip that war mage and stuff? Okay. Works for him. Less TP for her. Okay, that's not helpful for her necessarily. More defense, but less attack. And I'm all on an, an attack on him for right now. I'll hold on to it for a while longer. I'm slowly getting to the point where that town metal is not as useful anymore. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, wait, ar was there any other armor? I need ruby scale for that. Charge. Okay, whatever. Rest everybody up. Okay, so the boss is probably right ahead. Well, let's take a look what's over here. Oh. It's one of those. Another door teasing me. Uh, 
All right then, I guess we're going right for the boss then. Yep, okay, it was through the uh, portal of Scarlet Ruin is a beautiful hall formed by nature. You sense a horrible presence beyond the fluttering red leaves. It knows you're here, but for now, it's content to watch your every move. This must be the Hellion you were sent to defeat. Draw your weapons and challenge the fiend. Okay. Obviously, if I die, that means I just need to grind a bit. Because I might be too low leveled going by my calculations. Okay. Okay, it's a fire thing, so it's weak to... Mm. I'll try both. Um, I probably won't be able to poison it, but I might as well try it. Oof. That's... that's not good. 51, oof. Yeah, I'm definitely a little, little leveled because it's a... Uh, ooh. Oh, got poison too, nice. Juliana, and she's like the most important character in this fight. Oh, that's dead. That hurt. <laughs> I'll just accept that as my victory. It's a hollow victory. Uh, by the way, uh, its conditional drop is kill with an instant death attack. It's literally the only boss in the game that you can kill with an instant death attack. Of course, if, um, there's only two real instant death attacks in the game. Ju one of Jubei's moves, which, um, from what I understand, um, Jubei, um, you have a 1% chance of it landing at level 10. 2% if your luck is the same as its luck. 3% if your luck is at 99. Or, you know, you just use Juliana's climax and just kill it at half health. I would've gotten another 30k, but for a weapon that I wouldn't be able to actually equip anyways. It's an axe, I believe, which is a case of, I don't give a shit. The extra 30k would have been nice. The extra experience points for Juliana would have been nice too, but oh well. Okay, well, whatever. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, all right, yeah, we're going for clarity next, so strength up. She didn't level up, poor girl. Strength up to six, and start pumping points into War Edge. You got that, so let's see. Escape up to help me out for a lot of stuff, and let me see if I can find my other document from the notes I wrote down for this, for what stats are actually worthwhile for her. I know it's like TP and stuff, uh, da, 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 HP, TP, strength. 
She's kind of fine on HP. TP she's definitely needing. I'm gonna... I don't know if this, this is like... I don't I don't remember how much of a stat increase these are. If it's like... I might have to actually look into that. Because it might be worthwhile to put one into all of them and then start, start focusing on them. Because I don't know if it's like a case of you just get one T... You know, I didn't even pay attention. Damn it. <laughs> that would have been helpful. Would have been helpful. She was at 88. I, I could just look back over the recording and get a good general just on that. I, I doubt it was just one. Uh, Murray, Murray, Murray. Uh, you got um, revenge at 10. So that's going to be all kinds of fun. Uh, corrupt will be soon. You don't need it quite yet, but soon. Oh, wait, no. His warlord's only at, like, what? Four or something? What was it at again? War edge. Uh, he needs uh, six more levels. Yeah. She doesn't need that yet. <laughs> Six more levels. Yeah, no. Let's see. I can either start going for Dampen, which I need Scavenge. Ooh, TP. Ooh. Ooh. That'll be a while. Scavenge, right? Yeah, that. Oof. That's, that's going to take a while. Anything else I can give her right now? I mean, Dampen's definitely one of the really good ones, but that one's gonna take a while before I get. Poison's still pretty good for now. Poison should be good at least all the way through this next stratum, at the very minimum. Around fourth, they'll probably stop one-shotting all the enemies as the oh shit button. Then I'll probably have to respec her. Terrified enemies. Right, that would work well with those, but once again, that's not something I need to yet. Oh, it's kind of hard to actually choose what I, where I want to put her stuff right now. <laughs> you know what? Why not? Let's just go for this for right now. Might as well have it at the ready and then start putting points to other stuff. Yay, third stratum. Ooh. Nicey place, okay. This is just like, okay. It's kind of hard to tell with the shape of the snow and everything if that's how that was. My party might be a lit. Well, going by how well that boss. I mean, I won the boss fight, but it really did feel like my party was a little low leveled for it. Save first. Oh, no. <laughs> and with the minor difficulty I've had with the monsters in the labyrinth, I think I might need to actually get my party members to at least level 30 or so. What level are they now? I, I actually didn't pay attention. 25. Yeah, they need like five levels. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, things are going to get really difficult for me. Well done, you did a marvelous job in defeating the demon. This puts you among the elite rank of explorers skilled enough to challenge the third stratum. Not many high in high Lagarde ever achieve such strength. Your confidence suits you, but do not get carried away as your ventures continue. Ah yes, and... And as Minister of the Grand Duchy, allow this old man to present your reward. You've outdone yourself this time. Pains me to interfere with your triumph, but... Grilled Korhana, will you heed an old man's request? I'm sure you remember your mission to uh, help create the medicine for the Duke. But I fear the fire plume you retrieve for us will not be enough. Only lately we discovered the other ingredients necessary to save the Duke's life. Would you be, be so good to lend us your strength to find the rest of them? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, all right. Uh, beautiful flowers of fragile snowflakes grow somewhere in the frozen grounds. Obtain four of these blossoms to brew the secret remedy. Can you help us? Many thanks. Always no time in explaining. 
Your next objective, the Snow Bloom, grows on the 12th floor of the Frozen Grounds. I had assumed it would be a fairly easy task considering in the Guard Corps, but not a single member has yet returned with the Snow Bloom. Guild Kurohana, I believe you are our best hope in the matter. Go to the 12th floor and work with the soldiers there to obtain Snow Blooms. We need four flowers in total. I realize that's a lot to ask, but we're counting on you. Oops, not that one. Yeah, next time I'll do next time that thing comes up, I'll be able to do that. Which will basically make this boss an extremely easy source of both money and experience points. Considering instant death. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, 2,100 ex uh, health. Um, that means it roughly has, like, maybe a little less than 1,000 health if you take in the effect of um, Juliana just killing it. I was trying to aim to do that, but oh well. Oh no, that was its rare drop. The common thing that everything else drops. What? Why? Vector, of course, it didn't drop. Uh, Poseidon just drops the brute bones. Adel Owl drops a. Alright, I'll have to figure out what that is. Red gel, I already got that thing. Okay. Cool. Let's see what those red wings I got uh, sell for. Might as well talk. I heard you made it to the third stratum. Are you okay? I mean, I knew you'd be fine. I'm just a little worried. It's your job to explore. Please be careful in there. Alright, the red wings. So, Malice Rod. Okay. Uh, first off. Items. Medica 2s are still pretty good for my party at this moment. Might have actually had a lot of them still. Oh well, whatever. Uh, I do need some Nectars. Bring at least three. Malice Rod. Meh. Yeah, that would only actually be useful for Rhiannon, I think. Wait, no. Hmm. I think healing is actually affected by tech, which means Reika could could use it too. But uh, they're probably not. I mean, I might buy them for them simply because I can afford it. That's pretty much the extent of what that would be, though. Otherwise, they're basically just. Otherwise, they shouldn't be running into random fights more often than not. So uh, for my party, uh, that's not useful because. If he equips it, his healing will go up, sure. But, um, yeah, uh, staves are among the slowest weapons, and swords are among the fastest. If not the fastest, therefore, he would heal way slower than everyone else. Uh, she has no need for it, because I don't think any of her skills that, that... I don't think any of her skills use tech, now that I think about it. Well, maybe she has one. But it's not one that I'm using, so... And also, I'm focusing on HP for her, so that's different. Alright, let's sleep. Alright, I should be grinding to get my guys up so that the snowy area does not murder me horribly. 